Pero los once discípulos se fueron a Galilea, al monte que Jesús les había señalado. Cuando le vieron, le adoraron, mas algunos dudaron. Y acercándose Jesús, les habló diciendo, Toda autoridad me ha sido dada en el cielo y en la tierra. Id, pues, y haced discípulos de todas las naciones, bautizándolos en el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo, enseñándoles a guardar todo lo que os he mandado. Y he aquí, yo estoy con vosotros todos los días hasta el fin del mundo. Here in our country, in Spain, um, we say that it's a very hard and dark country. Spiritual warfare has been going on for many centuries here, and the true, true gospel never really made it to Spain. And the Reformation never came down here to Spain, and the little um, flames that started um, the little fires of, of um, people wanting to know about Christ, they were quickly uh, stopped and people getting killed by their Catholic Church because they believe. So um, this country has never been really evangelized. The Church of Leon was started in the late 1800s by uh, people that came from uh, Britain, they were missionaries. The city was a huge stronghold for the Catholic Church, uh, and in some ways it still is. Catholicism now is no longer a religion here, it is a, a way of life, it's cultural. Most of the people that are Catholics are, are now atheists, they don't believe there's a God. It's just for the last uh, 20 to 30 years that we have really religious freedom. Now that we have, we have the opportunity to preach the gospel freely and we are trying to do so and the Lord is blessing that and we are praying that in His grace, really, the, the Reformation will make it to Spain in the near future and will be a great impact for this country, for, the, for God's glory. <laughs>